Hello everyone, Glenn from Galloway Gaming here. Today is going to be another AliExpress review. And this time it is handheld game station. It's actually a Data Frog SF2000 games console shaped like a Super Nintendo joypad. Right, let's get it open, get it powered on, see how it performs. So, here we go, everyone. Handheld Game Station SF2000, 6000 plus games. See how much shite is repeated. I like the way it's based on a Super Nintendo joypad. So let's see what you get in the box. Cheap AV cable which will look crap on the telly. Charger cable. Fully Bernie Houston. And an instruction manual to use this toilet paper when you haven't got any. It'll be a nice wipe that one. But the main bit, if I can get the bugger out of the bag, is this. Two trigger buttons, four player, yeah, uh, four buttons. Sorry, set up just like a Super Nintendo. Control key seems quite clacky, but analog stick seems nice. You got start select. Hmm, buttons seem to be okay as well. Not bad. Now you've got your power switch, charger. What the. F the ah, memory card and then you've got your EV out and your volume but here we go see what it's like give it a shot power up see what crap is on it that was nice and polite it says welcome so there we go, we've got Arcade Emulator, King of Fighters, Metal Slug, all them type of things, ROMs and settings, you got Famicom, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and back to me again. So, as you can see, what the arcade emulator meme is like first. Try a little bit of metal slug. I'm shite on the game, mind you, so if I die straight away, dim laugh. Oh shit, didn't see that book coming. Well, there we go, Metal Slug works. By pressing start and select, it brings up a menu saying resume, quit, load or save, which is brilliant.
if you press start on the emulator as it brings up the full list so King of Fighters Cadillacs and Dinosaurs I think that's on every single AliExpress handheld console going Samurai Showdowns Street Fighter Fatal Furies It's got quite a few arcade games on like which is quite good Trying to get an angle so it's not freaking distorted. Right, the King of Monsters, Jesus, that's a lot of shit. Nam 1975. Neo Drift. Neo Turf Masters. I love Neo Turf Masters. Why is the colour so shit? Oh, no, no, right. right. Puzzle bubbles. Strider, classic game. Vampire Saviour, World Heroes. Let's try a bit of World Heroes, see how it runs. And then we'll move on to a different emulator. I forgot the moves on this, I've been that long since I've Yeah, have a bit of cheapness. Poor bloke never stood a chance. Right. So that's the arcade. Famicom. Let me check and see how many games are on this. So, according to the Famicom, it's got 868 games, Adventure Islands, and everything. I love Adventure Island. Doesn't look like there's a lot of repeat shit either, which is quite good. Batman 1, 2, and 3. Pretty surprised. Bubble Bubble 1 and 2, excellent games. Absolutely hundreds of games. Let's see if Mario 3 is on it. Yep, Super Mario 1, 2 and 3. Excellent. Ding. <laughs> nice start. Ah, fuck it. (laughs) 
Super Famicom. Seo Act Racer runs, I love Act Racer. Fantastic game. Oh, there's a bit of music breaking there. Must be above level what? <laughs> Fight monsters. I don't think I could have picked a better game to play. It's not letting us go on fucking anything. Right, let's pick something a bit more exciting. That was fucking shit. Wouldn't have seen that one. Hmm. Let's see how it runs Donkey Kong Country. Stuff. Wait, runs that one fine. <laughs> F zero. A lot of consoles seem to struggle to run that. Let's see how this one deals with it. Sound. Oh wow, the frame rate on this one is abysmal. You've heard it yourself there, that is absolutely abysmal. Right, so let's move on to Sega Mega Drive. Try a bit of Alien Storm. Classic game, this one. Absolutely classic. Yeah. Yeah. Have a bit of that. Alien scum. So that runs really well. <laughs> Try another Mega Drive game before moving on to something else again. Yeah, Bare Knuckle 2. It's 
Do some extra tool. Come on. As you can see that one's okay as well. Let's see what other emulators. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. So we'll try Game Boy Advance. Then we'll call it a day on this review. Pokemon. Gotta catch all the nine little bastards. I don't think I could have picked the worst game because it just takes ages to get out so sort of wouldn't try something different. See Castlevania or something guy. You can never beat a bit of Castlevania. Get on with it, man. Yeah. Fifty years have passed since you could skip the demo and play the game. Fuck that right. I want to play something that's easy accessible so I can show you what it's like. Astro Boy. Let's give that a try. I've heard so many good things about this game, but I've never tried it before myself. <laughs> Treasure makes some brilliant games. Hey, come back here. <laughs> well, I seem to run okay as well. So, that's it. So, basically, you've got quite a fair few games. You've got the arcade, FC, Super Famicom, Mega Drive, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Now, all of these emulations have hundreds of games on. As you can see, Game Boy Advance is 760, 762, MAME 204. 868 on Famicom, 1167 Super Famicom, 912 Mega Drive, 1142 Game Boy, 1112 on Game Boy Color. Game Boy Band 760, basically for 21 quid, it's worth its value. Uh, there is slow down in a bit of music tear, which pisses you off at times on certain games. 
but for the sake of 21 quid I would take that away on holiday with us totally got some excellent games on it most run perfect a few don't so 21 pound what do you expect data frogs done actually quite a good job with this one and uh, so there you go that's the end definitely worth a go for 21 pound thanks for watching everyone bye for now